I'm gonna make one amazing signing from every World Cup nation. We're giving ourselves 1 billion to build this squad, but remember, there are 32 World Cup nations. And signing players from each and every one of those nations is gonna quickly drain all our cash. Let's see if we can still build a team that's good enough to win the Champions League. This wheel has got every nation from the World Cup on it, and we're gonna spin it now and decide where we're gonna make our first signing from. Let's see which nation pops up be a good one. Oh my god, the first nation we get is Portugal. Remember, we just get to sign one amazing player from Portugal into our team and could it be Bernardo Silva? Maybe Ruben Diaz. That would be our defense sorted. But I think you guys would be really annoyed if I didn't go for Cristiano Ronaldo. And I'm not gonna lie, in a challenge like this, Ronaldo might actually help because we could sign him for an absolute steal deal. We need to be budget friendly in terms of all our signings to sign as many players as possible. And looks like for about 28 million, we could be signing Cristiano Ronaldo, which not gonna lie, feels amazing. And so our first amazing signing of the video from Portugal is none other than Cristiano Ronaldo. That might be the best start ever. With just one signing, we're already down to about 968 million. And this time around, we're gonna run things differently. We're gonna keep signing players from different nations until our money runs out. So we're gonna have to strategize here. Do we try and build a squad of like 32 players? Or do we spend more money on individual players and build a good squad of 2022 players. Ooh, I love all the strategic aspect. We'll see how things go. Let's see the second nation we're going to be signing our next player from. Come on, give me a big nation once again. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, we've got decisions to make. What is my luck right now? France. I know you guys are thinking killing Mbappe. This would be crazy for our team. Mbappe, Ronaldo up top, bro. That's just perfect. But he's gonna literally cost about one-fifth of our entire budget. I really feel we'll struggle to build a competitive squad of at least 20, 25 players. I don't think Mbappe is it, man. I don't think. I'm thinking we gotta be smart about this and go for a play like N'Golo Conte, whose contract's expiring. We could honestly get a solid deal on him. And would you believe it? For just 50 million, we've gone ahead and signed N'Golo Conte. It only just hit me, but both the players we've signed so far are Saudi League players. How crazy is that? We're just two signings. We're already down 100 million, uh, and we still have 30 nations to possibly go through. So far, we've had two absolutely incredible nations. What's it gonna give us next? Is that Croatia? I think it is. My flag knowledge is on point. That is Croatia. Asia. Guys, I don't think there's anyone else but Luka Modric, a Ballon d'Or winner. We've got to go for him. Remember, the signing we've got to make from every nation has got to be amazing, and I don't really see anyone as amazing as Luka Modric. And the fact that we were able to sign Modric for just 21 million, incredible. Okay, one problem I do find with the team we've built so far is that every player is above the age of 30. We need a few youngsters in here as well. The next nation we're going to be getting is again another incredible one to sign a player from Netherlands. This time I think I want to go for a youngster. De Jong would legit be the ultimate signing, but like killing Mbappe, we're gonna have to just fork out incredible money for him, which I feel in a challenge like this, we can't afford to do. So what about a youngster like Jeremiah Frimpong? Yeah, we're gonna have to pay a bit more for him, but that's gonna be our right back position sorted. Because he's a youngster with potential, the negotiations are gonna be tricky for Frimpong, so let's see how cheap we can get him for. 44 million, my first offer and we just got kicked out here. That's a problem. Okay, this is round two to sign Jeremiah Frimpong where we're offering 48 million to start with. They've counted with 58. I feel this is insanity for a right back, but now that I've committed, I want to try and sign him. 50 million, my counter. We're, we're going to try and counter 50 again. What if they just accept it? Come on. There you go. 50 million for Frimpong. One thing we've done with the signing of Frimpong is completely lower the average age of our squad so far, but I still feel 50 million. Uh, that's expensive. So far, we've only got the big nations. And is that trend going to continue? I think it is, with Poland being the next nation we sign a player from. Okay, Robert Lewandowski seems like the obvious choice, but we've got Cristiano Ronaldo already. And we're already down almost 200 million. Let's, let's use Poland to save a bit of cash. So for the player from Poland, we've just spent 10 million on Jakub Kaminski. I mean, I think he's going to be an amazing player off the bench. Look at the pace. 
plus? Only 10 million. If we want to build a complete squad of as many players as possible from different nations, we're going to have to make signings like this. Still plenty of nations remaining. Which one is going to be next for the signing? Ooh, is that Wales? Yup, it is indeed. Honestly, when countries like Wales pop up, it's a chance to bring in some really smart players for cheap prizes. Brennan Johnson, you guys know how amazing he is. He's a wonder kid, and if we can bring him in for a really good price, that would be amazing. Now, we just made like 12 million for a proper wonder kid. This is brilliant. So far, guys, we've made six signings, and it cost us about 200 million for those players. We still have 800 left. I think we're on a good track. Do you know what? Maybe I'm being a bit too conservative with my approach. If we get a big nation next, I might just go for a big player, and ooh, Senegal definitely makes things interesting. Honestly, it's basically between Sadio Mane and Khalidou Koulibaly. Like, Mane would be amazing, but the thing is, is he worth 100 million? I'm sure we can get better players for that. Koulibaly, though, seems great value. 35 million, that's all it cost us to sign Koulibaly to our team? This is an incredible transfer. And by the way, that's the first African player we're signing in our team of nations. The next nation we get is Iran, and we sign the best Iranian player in the world in Mehdi Taremi. Not gonna lie, it was definitely expensive. 28 million. Didn't expect to spend this much on a player from Iran, but not gonna lie, he's actually good. Gonna be solid backup for Ronaldo. Ooh, that's Ecuador up next. From Ecuador, we managed to sign Purvis Estupinian. It was kind of expensive, 28 million, but I reckon that's one hell of a left back to have. Okay, we've had a couple of like not so famous nations. I want a big nation now. It could be England. It could be England. Oh my god, it is. We've got to make the most of it. We've got to make the most of it. A big signing. It's time. There are two English players I'm really interested in. One, Jude Bellingham, for obvious reasons. He's on his way to Real Madrid in real life. You know he's good. The other one, Bukayo Saka. If we had unlimited money, Bellingham would be the choice. 100 million, boom, we get to sign him. But I'm feeling Bukayo Saka is the much more smarter signing. Plus, that's our right wing position completely sorted. Him, Brennan Johnson back up. I think this is it. I want to spend big money on Saka. Sorry, Bellingham. This time, we're going for Saka. Okay, I just checked. We've got about 700 million left and a lot of signings that we need to make. So let's get this deal for as cheap as possible. I'm starting with 70. They've countered with 80. I reckon we can meet in the middle at 75 and call it quits. Come on, let's get it done. There you go. It's done. Let's go. Wait, I'm negotiating with nobody? Where's Mikel Arteta? Bro, um, what? Even though we just negotiated with the ghost of Mikel Arteta, we made our biggest signing of the video so far. 70 million for Bukayo Saka. Next up, we're signing a player from Turkey. What did he say? Turkey. My flag knowledge is on point. This video is all about signing amazing players. And if there's one amazing player from Turkey, it's Hakan Çalhanoğlu, One of the best free kick takers in the world. And I reckon we can get him for a good price. And he's 84 rated. He'll get straight into our team. He's going to be playing in a Champions League final as well, I think, since he's an Inter. Fair enough. For 42 million, I think this is a great, great deal. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. With the signing of Chalanoglu, we've now brought in 11 players to our team so far, all from different nations. And we're still left with a healthy chunk of money. I reckon we can start spending more. Maybe I was being a bit too conservative at the start. I mean, focus definitely needs to be on a defender and a goalkeeper because we're lacking there. And we definitely need to go for big players. Also, one amazing thing you guys can do is subscribe to my channel. It is my dream to hit 1 million subscribers and we're getting so close. If you guys can help me out, That'd be awesome. I need to start seeing some of the big nations and we get Saudi Arabia up next and ah, there's probably not going to be anyone good to sign from. There honestly weren't that many options, but I ended up signing Al Dosari, the man who scored the incredible goal against Argentina at the World Cup to win Saudi Arabia the game. I mean, that was an amazing moment and so we've signed him. And 10 million wasn't too bad. But guys, we do really need a goalkeeper as soon as possible, so I'm hoping from the next nation we can go for a goalie? Maybe not. We get Canada next, and Bruh. there's only one player I'm gonna sign from here. These are the kind of signings I've been saving up my money for. For 65 million, Alfonso Davies to our nation's FC. Ooh, and finally with that signing, we're under 500 million for our budget. Remember, if we run out of money, we cannot sign more players. So we better get a goalkeeper, a defender, and at least a competitive squad of, you know, a first team and a bench. We've got to be careful of how we spend our money. Next up, 
we get Uruguay. I don't think we're going to end up signing a goalkeeper from here, but maybe a defender, maybe a midfielder. Let's see. Okay, let's start looking at it from this perspective. What does the team need right now? Like right now, our midfield is amazing. I don't see how Fede Valverde would improve much. What we actually need is either a left winger, a center back or a goalkeeper. Let's pull this off. For 60 million, we've secured the signing of Ronald Araujo. Gotta say, last couple of signings, I think we may have gone a bit overboard. We're now left with just 427 million. We still need a goalkeeper, a world-class left winger. There's still so much to do. There are still amazing nations like Brazil, Germany, Argentina or left, but we get Morocco. That might honestly not be a bad thing. Since we've got Frimpong, Hakimi doesn't really make all that much sense. Maybe time to get a solid goalkeeper in Yassin Bono, the heroics of the World Cup. Everybody remembers and he's definitely amazing enough for us to sign him. And with the transfer fee of just 30 million, this seemed like a bargain. Ladies and gentlemen, with the signing of Bono, we now have a full first team where every player is from a different nation. I reckon if we use the remaining money that we've got, which is about 400 million, we can build a team that can win the Champions League. We're already halfway there. We get a world-class left winger, possibly try and improve our defense just a little bit, get that bench sorted as well. I reckon with 400 milli, it definitely is possible. Kind of depends on the nations we get. I need to see the Brazils, the Germanys. Let's see what is up next for us. Switzerland, I'm not sure who to sign from there. Running Shaka for 25 million is what I've gone for. A really good option for us. What them? Up next, we need to sign a player from Serbia. Do you know what? I really want to sign Sergei Milinkovic Savic, but he's just going to be so expensive. But you know what, guys? I think we're saving way too much money. Let's just pull the trigger. After some incredibly lengthy negotiations, we signed Sergei Milinkovic Savic for 68.6 million. That is an incredible player that we've brought in from Serbia. Look at the depth we've now got in midfield, like Milinkovic Savic is there, Conte, Modric, Chalinoglu, Shaka. This is awesome. Honestly, one thing I may have realized is that we may have saved up a bit too much money. I reckon I could have gotten away with signing Kylian Mbappe at the start. Or maybe going for some other big players from different nations. I think if the big nations like Spain, Germany and all pop up, we're gonna go big. To be fair though, we're down to 289 million, so it is getting me a bit nervous. Ooh, this is gonna be Denmark and they do have some interesting players. Since we're looking for a player from Denmark, I couldn't say no to Andreas Christensen. Solid squad step for us in that center back role and he only costed us about 40 million. Ooh, the next nation we're getting is Belgium and I told you before, once we start getting the big nations now I think it's time to pull out the checkbook. I think from Belgium, De Bruyne would be crazy, but yeah, he's gonna be 120, 130 million. Honestly, what does this team need? Well, definitely a left winger and the only good Belgian left winger is Eden Hazard but no, I'm not signing him. As good as Yassin Bono is, this might be the time to go big with a signing like Courtois. I think my most expensive signing of the video is going to end up being a goalkeeper. How insane is that? But if we want to win the Champions League, Courtois is the best option. 85 million? That wasn't enough. How much are we going to have to spend for him? Ultimately, we ended up signing Thibaut Courtois. The negotiations were tough and it costed us a freaking lot. 100 million to bring Courtois into the team. I told you I was going to go big. I went big, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it. He better win us the Champions League now. Okay, now we're in territory where the money is looking low and we still have 13 countries to sign players from. We're definitely not getting through all the nations, but let's see if we can use this 150 million for some of the bigger nations. That would be really helpful. Like this, Germany, the next country to sign a player from. Brilliant. And what we desperately need is a left winger. If we can just get a big left winger, do Germany have good wingers? Of course they do. We've just signed Leroy Sane for 45 million. I'm glad we pulled off the signing of Sane. Our first team now looks incredible and we still have 104 million to sign more players. So far, we've signed players from 20 different nations. That's right, 20 players have come in. Well, let's see how far we can take it. Just 100 million left. I want to see the big countries popping up. Ah, uh, not, not America. Who do we sign from there? Not gonna lie, I'm 
saving up money for one last big signing. So I just spent 4 million to bring in Carter Vickers. I mean, he's decent. Backup centre back. Brilliant. I think finally it's going to be Brazil. Yes, indeed. It is Brazil. I think I'm going all out. It could mean this next signing is our final signing, but it could be a superstar. Guys, it's got to be a left winger. The rest of our team, I think, is covered. We've got a brilliant defence, an amazing midfield. Squad depth's fine too for me. It's got to be an upgrade over Leroy Sane. Who can we bring in? Would 100 million be enough to sign Vinicius Jr.? I don't think so. Not enough at all. He's going to be worth upwards of 114. Oh, we can't get Vinicius. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Would Neymar be a possibility? If we negotiate this right, it might just be a possibility. But yes, if we do end up signing Neymar, it would be our last signing. Since PSG are trying to sell Neymar in real life, could we somehow get a ridiculous deal on this? 80 million? They've accepted. Yes, let's go. Neymar could be the final signing we make. And it's done. This is going to be the best signing we've made in this video. Neymar has joined our nation's FC. Yep, with that, we've run out of money. I don't think there's anyone relevant we can sign with the 10 million. In the end, we managed to sign 22 players, all from different nations, spending almost a billion to build this team. And I reckon we've done a good job. This team, I think, is capable of winning the Champions League. Let's see if we bring an amazing player from every nation. Is that team capable of coming together and winning all the trophies? We're making our way now to the end of the season. And would you believe it? We almost won the league. How on earth did Manchester United finish above us? We came so close. But this is giving me good vibes for all the other competitions. Well, okay, maybe not. Come on, at least the Carabao Cup. No way. Well, did nobody end up performing for us? Like, what happened this season? Ronaldo scored 27 goals. Neymar balled out. Saka as well. Alfonso Davies chipped in. The players delivered. I'm just wondering why no trophies. Maybe that changes in the Champions League because we've topped our group and we had AC Milan in it. Oh no, I can't believe it. No way. How did we get knocked out with a super team against Ajax? This is horrendous. 22 amazing players from different nations and we end up getting booted by Ajax. I have definitely taken a massive L. Maybe I'll have a bit of better luck if I sign one amazing player from every league in the world. Click here to watch that.